Business is booming. Are you ready? The potato boy, Tater Vendor, has produced a diamond. We have made one diamond. And I'm yet to check all of the other Tater Vendors, I imagine. I mean, if each of them has been as successful as this one, we'll have four whole diamonds. That's enough to make a diamond pickaxe and a diamond shovel. I could make four jukeboxes. I could get myself two hoes. Let's have a look then. Oh, well, one pickaxe is absolutely fine. You know, I I'm happy with just a pickaxe. I don't need the second hoe or the shovel. And, oh, okay, that's fine. You know, I can just have one hoe or, or potentially two jukeboxes. I mean, who needs who needs four jukeboxes anyway? I mean, that seems a bit excessive, if you're asking me. And, oh, business is, uh, is booming. Yeah, it's booming. I can barely keep up with the demand for my baked potatoes. I'm so glad that I built this super efficient farm. It produces many hundreds of potatoes an hour for all the people on the Hermitcraft server who are, who are buying my potatoes. And I'm so glad that I changed my whole self into a potato. I mean, I, I turned myself into a potato, funniest thing I've ever seen. I even had this whole other outfit prepared for when people desperately needed potatoes. <sighs> Seems a bit silly now, doesn't it? I mean, this is me a super potato boy. You know, delivering the potatoes that the world needs. Urgently? Sure. Business may not be booming, but we still have work to do. I want to convert this incredibly ugly looking area into one that actually looks really quite cool. We made a good start with the build itself, but now it's time to do all of the surroundings. And to do it, I want to make use of a few of the new Minecraft 1.17 blocks, especially these cave vines with the glow berries. Now I've never actually placed these things before, but I imagine it works as, well, pretty much all other things in Minecraft do. You right click and then they, they appear on the block. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting. Anyway, hopefully all of these gradually grow downwards and they should create a nice little backdrop for our farm here. And then behind them, I've just got some simple smooth stone blocks. I didn't want to go too crazy there. So that makes our background all nice and pretty. All we have to do now is create a ceiling for the top farm. And to do that, I think I'm going to use wood. And you may be thinking, why, why am I not taking this down? But I feel like it needs to stay for a little while longer just for pure entertainment. However, but I do have a plan for retaliation. I decided against the wood and instead went for stone and I think this looks considerably cooler than the wood would have done. There is however not much that I can do about this dirt roof. That is kind of here to stay. So now it's time for the general hallway. As you can see I'm working on my little building here but I've made a bit of, <laughs> bit of an error and <laughs> I removed... What you have no way out? <laughs> well at this point in time no and you know I could build a pillar but now that it's on episode three and I'm seeing people with elytras I thought maybe I could just <laughs> briefly borrow your elytra so that i could get up to the top <laughs> okay <laughs> that works i think you just want to fly for the first time this season yeah I mean, <laughs> that's it you just wanted that you just got all the clout and chat now maybe a little maybe a little and also the best thing about this and the voice chat mod is that as i fly away you won't be able to complain too much see ya no. thanks <laughs> You totally just wanted to steal my elytra. 100% <laughs> dude. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, yep, yep, that's your, that's what you get. That's your comeuppance. <laughs> my boss. <laughs> my oh, boss. oh no, it blew up your boss. <laughs> Only marginally. Oh, there's another one coming. What's going on oh, over here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> See? I'm gonna try and guide oh, him in. But, oh but, goodness! Oh, bad, bad. Oh no! <laughs> More damage. Oh well. Well, I, I guess I had a backup plan. There, oh, and it's <laughs> apparently the. <laughs> no. Did you just? You just threw that. You just hit me. I just, I just hit you right in the face. <laughs> Oops. All right. All right, hopefully that throws better. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right. Oh wow, look at look at this hole you made. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. You can have you can have your elytra back. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm um, like I said, that's that's what you get, isn't it? I'm gonna for stick I'm gonna to stick to me. I'm gonna stick to the ground for now on this. This yeah. is terrible. I guess that's what the universe does when you steal a man's elytra. However, I do kind of wish I had stolen his elytra because now I have to travel all the way to the Mesa biome by boat. I am very excited to get my wings but i am making a conscious decision to not get them because there's something about the early game having to walk around and travel by boat that is weirdly enjoyable and another thing about flying with an elytra is that you don't get to see these things these little shipwrecks all right let's see it's been raided of course it's been raided what was i thinking there's an ocean monument over there that's pretty cool this is essentially mumbo's slightly uninteresting boat sightseeing tour of the hermitcraft season 8 server is that 
Is that one of those drowned temple things? One of those things that I've recently found out about? And there is a drowned. Just what you like to see when you've traveled somewhere by boat. Of course it's connected to the nether. Anyway, let's get to work, shall we? Even though I only need about 10 blocks of this stuff, I should probably get a full inventory because I don't want to come back here. Goal achieved. I was sailing stormy waters. They're actually quite tropical, but still. After a lot of faffing around, this is design that I've come up with for what I want in my walls. This took me far longer than I care to admit. But now that we've got the idea sorted, it's time to actually start implementing it. So I'm thinking the entrance to this place isn't actually going to be here. This definitely, this is not going to be sticking around. Instead, it's actually going to be off on this side. So you're going to come in on this side. The storage system is going to be over there. And then what I want to do on this wall is kind of... It, it kind of depends on if I can get honey blocks or not. If I can get honey blocks, I'm going to be very, very excited. Oh, goodness! Oh, goodness! Oh, goodness! Oh, well, I, I guess I live here now. I guess this is where I live now. This is this is where I exist. Oh, great. Is he going to leave me alone? Has he chilled out? Or is he still angry? He sounds still angry. Where were you when I needed you most, peace, love, and plants, boss? Where were you? Things are gradually coming together. This is starting to look really, really cool. One thing that I've decided to do on these slightly bigger walls is I've added in these little gaps in the wall as well, just so we get that extra tiny bit of depth because it was looking a tiny bit flat. Look at me sounding like I know what I'm talking about. Now I have my entrance ladder all sorted out and now we finally have all of the walls all done and dusted. And if you're wondering why I chose this color scheme, well, now hopefully you understand why I chose this color scheme. I have a potato farm that is surrounded entirely by potato skins. Now as an update on the honey blog situation, this honey farm doesn't actually produce honey bottles, it produces honeycomb, which means that we can't use that to create honey blocks. So I'm going to save that decoration idea for a little bit later. Anyway, here is the plan of action on the redstone front. This is going to be our storage system, so I'll get all the chests in there. I want the potatoes to come up and over and then fall down through a cascading potato waterfall right about here. There is no reason for us to do this, okay? Because these potatoes are gonna have to be transported up, brought across, dropped down to be brought up again to be put into the storage system. But there is a reason to do this because it will look really, really cool. That is literally the only reason. And what more reason could you possibly want? <laughs> I seriously can't believe how camouflaged into these walls my face becomes. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So I've had to think about this design and I think it makes more sense if I flip the entire thing upside down. So it's going to work in exactly the same fashion, but instead of going up and over, down, and then back up to go into the storage system, they're going to go under, up, up over the top, and then into the storage system. This makes much more sense, I promise. So this is our potato transfer tunnel that's going to be taking the potatoes underneath all of our farms. Everything stings. And now having just run the water underneath, we're going to run the water up through this area, and then finally up through this area. And that should take it into the water stream, which will take it to our storage system. Just imagining tons of potatoes traveling up through here slowly has me extremely excited. Barrels are going in, and now all of the hoppers and all of the water is all in. So we really are onto the final stages now. I've just politely borrowed Impulse SV's Silk Touch pickaxe so I can grab some ice for this thing. I'm not entirely sure how I can politely borrow something without asking, but I would say that I'm doing this politely. Come here, you. I, I probably should get ya. Boom! Boom! Minecraft 1.17 completed by me! I do believe this could potentially go against my peace, love, and plants thing. I mean, look <laughs> look at his face! He kinda he kinda doesn't look like he's having a great time in that bucket there. I guess I'll leave that one up for debate. Just working on the final decoration details now, and the moss block is by far one of the craziest and coolest blocks in the game. It is so strange the way that it works and just completely takes over, but also it's fantastic. I was originally going to remove all of these tiny little trees, but I actually kind of like them. I think they kind of fit in with what we have going on in the walls. I'm going to keep them. So with the floor all worked out and now the ceiling all worked out after a ton of faffing around. Like this was an absolute headache for my small little brain. This system should now all be completed. Okay, so potatoes are being shot out. <laughs> And there we go. Our potatoes are gradually making their way up through the water stream. And this is great. They have spread out the perfect distance. I was a little bit worried that they would still be quite central. But no, this is this is like a never-ending flow of potatoes. This is a very carb-based lava lamp. And the best news is all of the potatoes seem to be flowing into the system properly, which is absolutely fantastic news. Now, you may notice they're raw potatoes. 
That is because I've got a large scale plan to cook them, but it is large. So for now, they're going to be uncooked, but they will be cooked in the future. So I think it's safe to say that I'm chuffed to bits with this one. What on earth? What on earth? What on earth? <laughs> what? Hey, uh, Mumbo. What? <laughs> hey, Mumbo. Remember how you made fun of my hat before? <laughs> how have you done this? What is this? <laughs> it's the magic of the tycoon. Not the little hat man now, am I, Mr. Spud? <laughs> no, you're the biggest. You've got the biggest hat <laughs> I've ever seen. This is ridiculous. This is like a 10 gallon tycoon hat slash top hat slash this is this is really something. You want to see its magical powers? I mean, I'm, firstly, I've got to ask, do you still have the tiny hat on underneath? No, no, that would that, that would be hat inception. I was going to say, I like to think that if I knocked off this hat, you would still That'd have like a, a, a baby hat. OK, so you, you you're, you're not wearing you're not wearing two at once. OK, that's impressive. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! I'm gonna stand back. I don't know what happens next. Like, if you, it's a... wait, am it's I able? Cannon. Am I able to try it on? Am I like? Is yes, this definitely. A hundred percent. Look at it on the ground. <laughs> this is the, the, the big. <laughs> it takes up half your screen. Oh it my does. goodness! This is and look how it sits. It sits above your um, yeah, hot bar for your hat. That's a bit difficult. Wow. Oh, I, dude, you look good like Green did. <laughs> I, I'm looking fancy. You do. It matches your tie perfectly. Yeah, this is really cool. Right. It's nice to see you, buddy. I like, I, I'm going to get well, back to my... Why is always taking off of my hat? <laughs> <laughs> am I the second person to have done that? Yes. <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> Follow me quickly. I want to know what happens if we put this in an item frame. Have you tried doing that yet? No. No, this is... This is why we come to the technical wizard. All right, let's, let's remove my headlight. I'm now going to have a hat Oh, light. shoot. Darn it. Oh, this copper is going to need some polishing. <laughs> Dude. Ooh, we. <laughs> Ooh, we're going to get to that a little bit later. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's like one of those it's like one of those carnival rides where you kind of like you can you can pretend it doesn't quite work as as it did in my head in my head I no, thought no no I could... no no get no no um move a little bit to your left move a little to your left now crouch crouch oh no it looks good it's kind just of... like almost perfect like it's okay almost yeah we perfect. might need to utilize some like snow layers or something to get that absolutely nailed every interaction with the scar is surprising and this one was no different so with our potato farm all done and dusted now it is time to address this situation it is so tall <laughs> that went on for way longer than i expected i gotta say when i saw this you know i it really made me laugh specifically because when he originally planted the trees around my base i made a point of the fact that he hadn't put one on my roof and i said that was a missed opportunity well i think he made up for that missed opportunity <laughs> this is this is so stupid. But I would say it's a very good opportunity for what is likely to be one of the most satisfying time lapses of all time. Cue the upbeat tunes. deforestation complete and now of course it is time for reforestation and up at the top there there was a sign in fact these two signs right here the first sign said that the back of his base is fine which honestly i would agree with this is rather lovely looking but the second sign is incredibly important because that stated that that gigantic tree only counts as one tree so i only have to reforest a single tree and that has given me the absolute perfect plan okay i want to create a single tree that is absolutely gorgeous. It is so gorgeous that he won't want to remove it, but it is going to be directly in front of his base. Like, you won't really be able to see his base anymore. It will mainly be tree. And the best thing is, is that the perfect guy for the job has literally just logged on. Good times of Scar. How yes. full is your inventory right now? Oh, it's empty just for you. I, I, you know, I had a feeling you were gonna, you were gonna. I don't know how, but I, I just felt like you were going to give me something. Oh my gosh! I've, re I've retained okay one stack of leaves. 
Now that's <laughs> that is uh, what what I've done here is I've given an accurate percentage of how much I think I'm going to help in this project in terms of placement. All right, that's <laughs> pretty accurate. Yes, well, with you that being can't said, place the dangly bits. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. Look, I'll do you. You can direct me. I can be. Okay, so let's think. Film sets. You, you, so you're the director. You're the director of tree <gasps> building. And I Do I am... get a chair? Like one of those high chairs? I mean, I can, on the back? I, can, I can make you a chair. But yeah, you are, so you are <sighs> the directory. Yeah, uh, and then I am... My hat really fits this occasion. This is my chair because I'm slightly lower down the list, <laughs> list than you. And I am, I guess... Uh, uh, what would I even be called first? A... Oh, this is... Anyone who knows film terminology... I'm the first, I'm the first day tree. How, how do we want to do this? I guess it should all start from a sapling. Um, it should. Now we just wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're around, this is what happens. If you're within 15 blocks of a sapling, they grow into a wonderful tree. Is that, is that how it works? How does one actually build like a cool looking tree? Because I've actually been meaning to try and extract this knowledge from you. So this is like a really good, this is like a really good time to do it. Ah, all right. First of all, we're going to raid Grian's chest in here and look for dirt. Oh, 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 oh. monsters. Oh, oh, careful, careful. Yeah, you deal with him. I'm going to grab some dirt. No, I can't deal with him. I can't kill anything. <laughs> it seems like he's dealing with himself, to be fair. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll start out with dirt. And okay. it's the easiest way, instead of starting to place down blocks, just start out with dirt and survival and then just start making the shape of a tree. And it can start out looking a little hokey, if you will. Like, don't worry, like start out with a box and then just start carving it to however you please. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bit of gravity influence and we're gonna start arching it a little bit towards this way eventually. Man, this is um, but as you can see, you can you can start to see how a tree would could form like this and it's so much easier doing it with the said dirt because dirt well is the best block in the game. I mean, I'm starting to agree with you. Like this, unfortunately, this this dirt tree is better than any tree that I've ever constructed so far already, and it's just a dirt <laughs> stalk, <laughs> which, is, which is a real problem. Like, that is a bit of a problem. This is looking cool already. Oh, man, in all honesty, I, I have so much appreciation for how you can create such organic forms. I, I and I, I'm I'm saying this in all seriousness now because watching you place those blocks, uh -huh. it, it is really cool to see how you can create something that looks so natural, just freehand. Like I, I I, cannot do that. My brain works in, it works very logically when it comes to like Minecraft builds and things and just watching the way that it just, like that well, it can go, It works. can go horribly wrong very, very quickly. I'm, I'm very aware of that, Scar. No, that, I'm totally aware of that one. You don't have to tell me that. That piece of information <laughs> I've got down. That is not something that I need reminding of. <laughs> but that's a really good way of doing it, is starting with dirt like that, and yep. then you can kind of gauge scale, and if it looks terrible, you just knock it down, and it's way easier to knock down than actual blocks. That's that's actually a really good tip. And then what we can do, you know, if, well, I mean, obviously, we'll, we'll start taking um, the blocks like that. Mm -hmm. Now, to add the extra layer of detail, regardless of leaves, is we can take half slabs, stairs, fence posts, gates, things like that to add branches to it and stuff like that. Just has a little extra charm and detail to yeah, it. Yeah, man. So you're you're like a you're like a tree trend follower. <laughs> it's like you know what trees are in trend like what what styles of tree have fallen out of fashion in minecraft <laughs> oh 100 percent, that's a thing no, is it no, really builds, builds is it really have, yeah builds have fashions yeah modern is not fashionable right now by the way like i've noticed oh my goodness yeah modern's not as fashionable as it once was i remember being on a server <laughs> And these kids, they were arguing about who was a better builder. And one of them said, this is 2012. And they're like, he's like, bro, you don't even modern. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> yeah, I do. I remember the modern. I remember the modern era. I remember that was like that it, every build was a modern house, you know, and it was. All, oh, yeah. I think that was like when concrete came in. It was like a huge shift, I imagine. But also even things like quartz. Quartz, quartz was fact, the quartz, modern one. Quartz yeah. was the modern one. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Every yep. build was quartz. I, I remember looking back, there was a time when I was like, man, I wish I, I wasn't a redstone YouTuber. I wish I was a building YouTuber because it seems <laughs> like 
there's so many different types of house you can build. I was on the other boat where I'm like, man, you know what he wants to watch building videos. All these like redstone tutorials, like are super cool. People like the redstoners are like the guys who strutting, you know, yeah. kind of strutting, <laughs> strutting in the community. I like, don't know if we're strutting. Oh, I could automate this. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Hand harvesting? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to be fair, 2012 was the, the time of like, yeah, especially when the redstone update came around and it was like hoppers and things. There was, I think the redstone <laughs> update was the same as the quartz update, wasn't it? Because comparators came in. That must have been like a, that must have been like a battle. <laughs> there must have been, I hadn't even <laughs> thought about that. There's like the modern house builders and then there's the redstone people just fighting it out. All right, so how are we doing? How are we doing? This is looking really, really cool. It's not bad. It's really not bad for like literally like live building. Because usually I stare at something for like forever. No, I'm but, with you, you know, there. I, I think I think a good conversation of the past has, has just made it flow. At the dang, so the dangly bits are like a real key to a tree looking good then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you want to create... Um, oh, I almost died. How did you almost die? To be fair, I watch your videos. You walk around on like three hearts for <laughs> a painful length of time. You're constantly on death's door. Whereas I'm... I My Minecraft character behaves like someone who's just drunk far too much red bull like it gets pointed out to me a lot in the comments that when i'm talking to someone i'm just bouncing back and forth like everyone is perfectly stationary in the conversation and then there's just me just like hey hey guys whoa hey if trees has doctorates and like phds if you could get a, a phd in in tree building in minecraft you would definitely have it this is so cool yeah i i, I think for an improv tree that's actually a little bit better uh, as always, I was like panicking. I was like, oh, I'm going to make a terrible tree. <laughs> so oh, many expectations. <laughs> oh, no, the little fella grew. The little fella. <laughs> That's so funny. Does it mean it's done? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, the, the, that's it. It's grown. I mean, he can't take this down, right? Yeah, at this point, right? It's... No, this is the thing. Like, this is this is the beauty of this is that it's going to be such a good tree that he's not going to want to remove it. But then he kind of has to because it completely covers his base. Oh, yeah, so yeah, hope... right. He's <laughs> going to have to take it down. Yeah, yeah, like it has to go. But then it's also a bummer because it is such a good looking thing. <laughs> this is perfect. We just evil. want him to be sad while he takes it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what I am concerned about is where he goes from here, because we've had, <laughs> we've had, we've had a barrage of trees. I've then integrated trees into his build. He's then built a mega high tree. I've then built, or with your help, I guess. No, in fact, no. You've built. I've, I've first day treed a, a, a mega tree build. Like I don't know where this goes, and unfortunately, Green is not someone who just goes, okay, well, it's done now. Like he, this is, <laughs> this will continue. I just don't know in what direction it's going to continue. <laughs> you turn around and I'm over there building him a tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're just going back and forth between our bases. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really you, funny. That's the rest of your season, buddy. Whatever plans you had. Sorry, dude. You're just going to be building trees from this point forth. Uh, tree to good to remove. Peace, love, and plants. All oh, right. Dude, Are you satisfied with your tree? Super, super satisfied. I do feel a little bit bad that I haven't aided you in any way, shape, or form. So here's an apple. Tree war successfully won. There is absolutely no way that Green can come back from this one. No way. There's no way. What can he possibly do that is going to be bigger and better than what we've created here? And to be honest, if he does manage to do that, then I'm genuinely genuinely terrified anyway my next plan of action is to gather about 2,000 blocks of obsidian yes yeah you heard me correctly i need 2,000 blocks of obsidian it's it's quite a massive project it's one that i'm quite excited for and it'll be starting in the next hermitcraft episode let's make our way over to the end here i am about to go into the end for the first time and boosh there we go professional minecrafter let's start obsidian breaking And thus ends the most boring time lapse ever. I mean, look, two hours of mining, and I've traveled from there to there. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But we did manage to get around about a thousand pieces of obsidian. So in the next Hermitcraft episode, I'm going to start off by getting the second thousand. Regardless, 
That still looks pretty impressive. In fact, we're way closer than I expected. That's way over a thousand. It's actually 1,280. So that was a successful mining mission. Now, I was about to sign off, but then I saw him. Green has just logged in and he seems to be over by the tree. We might actually be able to see a react to this thing in this episode. I'm going to slowly move myself over to the bus so I can get a slightly better view. <laughs> Alright, he seems to have noticed the tree. He seems to be very aware of the tree. You know, I think he likes it. I, I think he likes it. He's swinging his sword at it. Does that mean he likes it or does that mean he really hates it and wants me to die? I honestly can't tell. <laughs> I guess, I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, Potato Boy, making up some new rules, are we? What's the new what, what rule? I, I have well, to know. We we're getting other people to build our stuff for us now, huh? I, I, I'll let you, I'll have you know, I built that giant tree all by myself. Look, I, I did this all by myself. This, I definitely didn't get any. Uh huh. No, you did. You, oh, really? Really? Because um, I, you, you should have told Scar that because he's put an advert for <laughs> tree building pranks. <laughs> Scar. <laughs> 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 it's really like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, well, that's ridiculous. Okay, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> fine, there might have been. Did you just, you just try to take credit? <laughs> There might have been another person involved. Okay, there might there might have been. There, uh, uh, mildly. But I promise you, we did plant the sapling. Since you keep adding your own rules to this thing, like uh -oh. getting other people involved, uh, um, I might get some other people involved in my own. Oh my goodness. Well, we can have an army of tree builds. <laughs> is, this, is this where this goes? I don't know what this is, though. Direct tree? Oh, well, because, you know, so he was... Scar was essentially the director of the project, so he was the directory, and uh, yeah, I was the first <laughs> assistant director, so uh, first, first a, a tree. Um, <laughs> so the, I probably should have removed the evidence of those chairs as well, to be honest with you, if I was trying to claim that as my own. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like we haven't won the tree war. I fully expected him to not retaliate to this one and call it a day, say that we've won, but then what did I really expect? This is Grian. Grian doesn't give up on things like this. The whole server will be a tree before this war ends, because I'm not giving up either. Anyway, this has been an incredibly fun episode of Hermitcraft. We have made a ton of progress. We've had a bunch of goofs. We've had a bunch of laughs. I've loved it, and I'm absolutely loving Hermitcraft Season 8 so far. So hopefully it continues in this silly but also productive direction. That's the best direction we can head in. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next episode on the Hermitcraft server. And now it's time to edit this thing, which is going to be horrific. I've got about an hour's worth of footage with Scar. I've got a bunch of footage with Impulse, a bunch of footage with Grian. I've got two time lapses. Oh my goodness. And this video is meant to be coming out in three hours time. <laughs> ah!